It's so crazy, dude. It is so crazy. Your brain is the most intricate thing in, in existence that we've seen so far, man. I don't know if there's stars and there's planets and black holes. I don't think they're more intricate than your brain. I don't think there's any biological entity on the planet that's more intricate than your brain. I know it's a crazy statement. It's a strong statement, and I think it's true. Whether it's true or not, the point still stands. Your brain is everything. Your brain, the five senses, is all through your brain, dude. And your brain is your only connection to reality. So, that being said, your brain is pretty important, right? That little thing is pretty important in your life. And what I want to propose here is the biology of getting drunk. Let's talk about that. Dude, this is wild, right? If you ever watch somebody get drunk, right? Next time you do, pay attention to the processes of their brain shutting down piece by piece. Right, you'll see systems start. I don't want to say shut down because they don't just turn off, but they really go into like a reserved mode. So you can see this when people start slurring their speech. They can't talk, you know, in an articulate way. And then the equilibrium starts going off balance and it's not working correctly. Their eyesight doesn't work correctly. The room starts spinning. Some people see double. I've never seen double, but the room spinning is definitely a thing. Their processing skills, right? Their, their ability to, to, <laughs> to talk at a normal volume, right? So, and then eventually what happens is there's a complete blackout, right? They're still talking. They're still moving around, but there's no consciousness going on. The consciousness is already gone. The body's still going. The body's still talking for a little bit before it just completely passes out. Now, I don't want to explain the biological processes. If you want to learn that, check it out. But the point is, man, your brain is taking a, this toll, dude. It's taking a huge toll. Imagine the biological processes that have to happen for these symptoms to occur. Just think about that, right? What is happening in your brain for all of these things to happen? Just marinate on that for a quick second. You, so people don't really take it seriously because it's temporary, right? You, you go to sleep, you wake up, you maybe have a headache, and you're back to normal. And then, But some people, dude, they don't understand the biology, and they're doing it consistently. Dude, it's so bad. So I don't want to focus too much on that topic. The point is, is biology and how impactful it is on your life, right? And specifically your brain. but. There's really a bigger system to really be concerned about. 